Hello. Uh, so I hear that Jim Pack the app has all these cute messages, like holy biceps bat, man, you just completed a 52 minute workout. Now my problem is I'm not getting any of these messages, so I had to create my own. It's called holy customer failure bat, man, you just lost 52 potential clients. Awesome. Uh, of course, I have no idea about losing clients in this case. I just want to tell my story. And the thing is, I really liked the idea of Jim Pact. It seemed like a really cool idea. But the main trigger for me was that it was recommended to me by RunKeeper. And I have a lot of respect for RunKeeper because I've used it a lot. Uh, and it works really well. So I installed the app on September 7. Uh, and the basic idea of Jim Pact is that I uh, set up a pact. In my case, I set it up for two workouts a week. And if I don't complete those workouts, then I pay Jim Pact $10 for each workout that I don't complete. And if I do complete the workout, then I get a small amount of money, around a dollar or something, uh, for completing the workout. And the thing is, I have to check in at my gym uh, via GPS uh, to confirm that I've actually worked out for a period of time. And so I give my full credit card credentials to, uh, to Gym Pact. And uh, also, uh, that, well, that, that's a lot of trust right there. But my problem is I'm not able to add my gym because every time I try adding the gym, when I'm at my gym, the app crashes. The effect of this is I can't check into my gym. It's kind of the key feature of Gym Pact. Uh, so that's a big problem for me. And the result is, of course, I risk losing money even though I've actually been to the gym. Defeats the purpose of the app again. So I think, though, no big problem. Uh, the app was recommended by RunKeeper. Uh, somebody must be behind there and they're probably interested in hearing from me. Uh, I'm thinking they're a startup. They would love to hear from users. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. So I sent a Twitter message on September 13 uh, telling uh, Jim Pact about this problem. I can't add my gym. So the app crashes. And of course the, the tweet is ge uh, geotagged. I don't know if if Jim Pact even looks at that, but it was, so you could, I could confirm that I was actually at my gym. Uh, and then on September 15, I sent a support ticket uh, with all the details of the gym. I think it was actually from within the app, it was a bug report. Uh, I, I included the web, uh, web uh, site links, Facebook page of the gym, just to confirm this is a real gym. I'm trying to check in and add a real gym. Uh, on September 17, I was at the gym again, could still not add it but I could add a picture from the app of I get really close before the app crashes. Also, this tweet is geotagged. Uh, well, I'm calling this a threat, but that's because I'm kind of upset, upset right now. But of course, it's not a threat, but it's an email telling me that uh, Jim Pack's going to charge me $10 because I've not been to the gym. And yes, I have been to the gym, and I've tweeted to you about it, but I'm not I'm still not able to add the gym in the app. Uh, and then I see in the email that there's an, another email address where I actually can send uh, Jim Pact a message saying that there's been a problem. So I send an email there as well and telling uh, them about the two tweets I've sent and the, and the support uh, email I've sent also the bug report I sent from actually the app as well. Uh, and I have referenced these with the, uh, with the ticket numbers. Okay, so I get another automated reply with a new ticket number. So I have now I have three ticket numbers actually in in the system. On September 17, I'm a bit happier. I get a reply on Twitter from Jim Pact. Uh, and the question is, uh, what country am I in? Well, I'm in Sweden, uh, which you could have seen uh, based on the picture I sent and, and the geotag, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, within, within 30 seconds, I've actually responded to the, their tweet. I'm pretty excited that I'm actually hearing from Jim Pact. Okay, so Jim, since we know approved, yes, I know that because I've checked all the uh, all the manuals and all the all the things I'm supposed to read up on, and uh, I get the question: Have you been able to send a bug report? Which is kind of funny, uh, and also re remember seeing that get back to you soon, and they'll they'll look into what's causing the crash and get back to me soon. Okay, and so uh, uh, based on their question on were you able to send a bug report? Yes, I referenced the uh, ticket numbers again, uh, where I've also sent thorough information about the gym. But I also add a, a, a quick reply as well, because I'm, I'm a bit happy now. I'm hearing from Jim Pact. Glad to hear from you, and I was a bit upset in my, in my last email to you. 
and I referenced that ticket number as well. This was the last I heard from Jim Pack. It was September 17. Uh, okay, so on September 23, actually, I tweet Jim Pack again. Okay, so it's seven days since my bug report, and no more feedback. I'm waiting. Not as happy anymore. Uh, pretty upset still. I'm at the gym again, September 29. App crashes when I try to register a new gym. Time to uninstall and find something that works. And I'm sort of kind of hoping that maybe I'll get a response based on the fact that I'm saying I'm going to uninstall, uninstall your app. Instead, I get another email about charging me money. Now oh, you want to charge me $20. Although I've been to the gym, tweeted each time I've been to the gym, and you want to charge me $20. And I, I have to send another email about the app not working for me? Really? No, so actually, I make a video <laughs> of how to uninstall the app. I, videotape myself uninstalling it or a screen a screencast from from the iPhone uh, just so others can find it as well of course okay so based on deleting my account using the app I get an email from Jim Pact and it says we're sorry to hear that the Jim Pact product was not helpful to you we're always always trying to improve and would love your feedback Feedback is what I've been trying to send over almost a three-week period there. So fill out the short two-minute survey for a chance to win 50 bucks on Amazon. So you have $50 winnings for people who give feedback after uninstall. This was kind of funny to me. So my big suggestion is the 50 bucks you're giving away to people who give you feedback, use it to pay your customer service because I think they're on strike. I had to, of course, to make a customer journey map or user experience map, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was getting pretty upset with, with Jim Pact uh, over the passing of the weeks and days. But on September 17, I was a bit happy when I actually heard I got a sign of life from Jim Pact. But that quickly went down again, uh, the, my satisfaction levels, when I again did not hear from Jim Pact over the course of, of a week and more and uh, just got these emails we want to charge you money because you've not been to the gym uh, and of course what makes me somewhat more upset is looking at the Twitter account of Jim Pack and seeing that they're answering a whole lot of other people but they're not answering me but they're uploading pictures of themselves uh, with new t-shirts with the uh, uh, what, what does this actually say there this nothing hurts more than sitting on a couch well this kind of hurts as well that you're actually completely ignoring me and just sending automated messages and I've had have three support tickets with you and you value nothing more than feedback in the auto reply I get when I actually uh, close my account with you so this is a story of how I would not have gone about it if I was Jim Pact so holy customer failure Batman thanks for listening